Uh, hello, this is a, a video illustration to an article we have in the blog about connecting a, GP, a live GPS to QTVLM. And so we're set up here. Uh, this is where I'm using now the online charts because if you do this testing as part of the course at home, then uh, you will be somewhere probably on land. And so you can use these online charts you go in here to your uh, configuration, and then you go to charts, and then uh, online charts, and then turn on open topo map, this one right here. That's the one we're gonna use. Uh, and you can turn off the street map, the open sea map we're not using, okay. So that's that. And so that's the, what we're seeing here. Now these take a while to load, so just, they, once they're loaded, though, they should be in the cache. So here's where we're located, right here. And then uh, I'm zooming in a little bit. This is actually our office right in the corner of this building. Uh, and I'll show you that in a moment. Well, in fact, I can show you that now. Um, let's see, QTVLM view, show in Google Earth. Does that work? Uh, show in Google Earth. Uh, wait a minute, there's, oh, there it is. Do you want to allow, I don't know. Yes, okay, yes, let me say yes. Okay, oh, look at that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyway, here's our office. See Sarpath, what's it say? Sarpath Corporation. So we're here, now you can't see it too well, but there's a window right on this side here right here on this side. And so we're sitting, I'm sitting right there. So that's where we are. And this function of uh, QTVLM will just take whatever view you have here and project, and, and then open, uh, open a Google Earth and show it. So here's where we're sitting. The window is right here. The actual GPS, here's now we have a bunch of GPSs that we're using to test. This one, I think, is this one, uh, the Lorance. Um, uh, the ranch. And uh, this is, uh, then this is just a hardwire. Well, this is an N2K. So this N2K goes to a bus here, uh, a backbone. That's the N2K coming in. Then it comes out of here as a, on a USB cable. And that one is not connected right now, but that's actually what then plugs into this Mac. Well, okay, plugs into the Mac, and then I'm running a PC inside the Mac. All right, to, to, to do the PC example. And so, so that's the setup, that's the setup. And we're demoing here with this one, just the wired, wired connection to the uh, wired connection to the GPS. Then, I will, then we'll go back and have another short video on doing a wireless connection that you can do from your, from your GPS and your cell phone. Okay, so where do we go? Okay, so first of all, let's go up here to QTVLM configuration. And these are, the, again, this is a quick illustration to an article where it's got all the details. Then you go to NEMA connections, and then these are all discussed, and here now we're, we're down at this one. And this one on a, on a PC, these are all, always going to say a COM port like that. These are Bluetooth ones that we've tested and we'll use a little bit later. And this is the USB one we're now. So that's the one we're on and we're there. Uh, later we'll come back and do a wireless connection. That's with this one, Wi-Fi connection. But right now we're on the local and that's that. The other thing, I have everything turned off. I put this one on so it, it really pops up and puts the NEMA data right in your face right away just to be double checked that everything's going right. The, all these other controls are discussed in the article. Okay, so that's okay. Now here where you can, you can go over here and click this boat, this, this board, this micro board turns on the dashboard and here you can start NEMA or you can start NEMA over here. Now this should pop up that window, yes. And these are NEMA sentences, these are NEMA sentences pouring in there. So we know everything is good and we should have a fix close. Okay, and then here's the fix. And here's the boat moving around here. Now, by the way, this is another topic, but I have changed this to be a about a 40. Let's take a look here what we actually have here. Boat, boat settings, uh, dimensions. I put in a real boat size, 39 a plus B. Oh, this is a big boat, 40, 49 footer with a 14 foot beam. That's a 39 plus 10, 49 footer boat with a 14 foot beam with a GPS sitting right in the middle uh, on, on the center line. 
and that's here. And that's discussed, we discuss that elsewhere. But it's not the standard icon, this is a scaled icon. So this is actually the size of the boat. Well, there I, now I've just pushed myself on that. So that's what a 49-footer would look like parked on this, uh, uh, what is this street, 63rd Street. Uh, and then it's, this, is, this shows you sort of the uncertainty in the GPS because that's where the boat, that's where the, the GPS thinks the boat is during this time period. Now, in fact, the boat, now, which is right, I don't, who knows, who, who knows? But it, let's assume this map is right. That's not necessarily the case. But assume the map is right, then in fact the boat is right about here where this O is. That's where the GPS receiver is. Okay, just to show one, a couple things here. Stop, start, GPS status. Now you click that, status. And this shows, oh, the constellations. Okay, let me back this off one. This shows the satellites that are being used. Now, again, this is a really good receiver that I'm using here, this Lorance. So that's a very good receiver. A less quality receiver might not pick up quite as many as this. So this shows with that button there. Then if you push Constellation, you see like a radar view of where these satellites are. And the fact that this is seeing some a little bit to the north means it's actually sitting here and there's a there's buildings here but there's actually a little slice of view these are all glass along here and there's a little slice of view right here to the north and that's how it's picking up a couple of these guys here so anyway that's a demonstration of how you turn it on and um, I think that's all I want to say right now with this to show how you do that we encourage everybody to practice uh, connecting a GPS to their uh, 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 to their program and we have a lot of details on what the options are including a you know a free app that you can actually use your phone which I'm going to have a video on very shortly